Let's go back to the first level, unlock Act 6, and I'm betting that that basically finishes off the Mafia Town level completely. So, uh, Mafia Town. Population, lots of fried Mafia. Mission, cool things down. Perspiration, yes, unfortunately. Heating up Mafia Town. I'm setting it on fire. Oh. Oh, I do believe somebody else has done a better job of that than I ever will. That, that guy in the far background who's, like, absolutely dying because he's just, like, getting submerged in fire. Huh. Huh. Look at mess. This is terrible. Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town. Same faucets that control the town volcano. Was it you, child? No? Mafia think he saw a little girl turn on all faucets. Little hat kid, can you save Mafia Town by turning off all faucets? If you close all, maybe water start flowing again. I like this game quite a bit. Oh no, yikes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, so they're super coordinated, and just by, like, luck, I've also become coordinated in their things. Huh. I also apparently got really, really stoked about that fact. Alrighty, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off all the faucets, uh, which is French for faucet. And uh, I guess we'll need to go teach that other, like, troublemaker girl, like, hey... Don't do that shit. That's super not cool. How do I do this? Um, I'm here. And I need to... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to come over here. And then smack it in this direction. And I need to just keep doing that. There we go. Cool. I wonder... Ow. I'm definitely trying to land on this guy. But the game is kind of making that very difficult. That didn't work at all. Okay. Well, good thing I found a checkpoint right there. I've also noticed that this game doesn't have, like, an actual lives counter. I mean, it has a hit point system, but it doesn't have, like, a... Like, like you have 30 lives or whatever. Which is great, because live systems are stupid. They always have been. Maybe they were great back in, like, 19 Dickity 2. But we're... Um... What? Where the hell did the faucet go? Oh, there's the Fosse. Uh, but we're, we're, you know, we're, we're in the year 2000, okay? And we, uh, none of us have lives. I mean, uh, that's not... Point is, we, like, we deserve to just, like, play the game and not have to, like, do what I always did, where as soon as I ran out of lives, I had to take the game back to the video game store. Because my parents were like, hey, I noticed that you died. And, uh, that means that we're just returning this one. My parents were very hardcore about, uh, enforcement of video game bylaws. Uh, but, uh, you know, it just means that I had to get good. And I had to get real good at every video game that I owned. Because, uh, otherwise, I'd have to give it to a poor, uh, family that deserved it and needed it more than I did. And Lord knows, that is just the... That is just untenable for me. I can't deal with that fact. Okay, uh, let's see. That's not quite right. There, there, there we go. Okay, two down. A couple more to go. Oh, I was supposed to hop over on Balloonages to get over here rather than dive bomb off of the top of the mountain. Eh, that'd be lame. Eh. That actually is, like, a little bit unnerving how close the, 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 that uh, timing is. Not timing, but, you know, how, how closely those balloons are positioned to uh, the maximum bounce that you get off of it. Because I just assume that I'm going to go immediately plummeting into lava. And um, that hoits. That hoits real beard. Okay, can I get to that stuff from over here? The answer is sort of. I screwed up. That was close enough. Hooray! 
We'll say that wasn't most flawless. Ah, I knew that, um, well, I knew that eventually this game would throw uh, platforms at me that I would fall through. That went really badly. I guess um, I attempted to, to jump off of it, but I kind of screwed up the timing for my dives and wasn't able to actually do it. That sucks. But, well, I can land on this one. That's easy enough. And save the hard ones for later. Yeah, let's do a, a double jump at the right time so I don't take a shit ton of falling damage. And that didn't work. Okay. Oop, that's bad. There we go. Okay, um, how many are left? One, two, I can work with that. Uh, three? Yeah, it might be three, actually. Okay, well, uh, this one is probably the one I was just trying a second ago that had the whole, uh... Yeah, okay, that, that's the one that I was just attempting that has the, the platforms that, fall, that I can fall down through. So, let's go on a re redemptive arc here. Um, you know, Hero's Journey isn't always a pleasant one. Sometimes there's a little bit of pain along the road, like that one. Uh, we all remember um, that part of the Odyssey where, what was his name? Um, Odyssey Bro accidentally, like, fell into a bunch of lava. So, oh, Rift Tokens. Don't mind if I do. Um, you know... I, uh, I didn't actually read the Odyssey when I was in high school. I, uh, just kind of bullshitted my way through it with a combination of Simpsons episodes and, uh, Futurama episodes. Because I figure, you know, cartoons, they probably, when they do their parodies of that stuff, mostly get it right. And that way, I can watch cartoons instead of doing homework. It really was the perfect bird solution. So, wow. All right. So I guess what I'm saying, children is, uh, if you're in school, who cares? Just, uh, do what makes you feel good. Um. Lady Bird, do you endorse that advice? Okay. That's kind of what I figured. Ah, corrupting the youth. Oh, by the way, if, ever, and if anyone ever tells you that rodents aren't mammals, um, they're correct. Let me rephrase that. If anybody tells you that rodents are mammals, they're lying to you. And uh, you should try to vehemently argue against that point. That's just big rodent trying to uh, um, spread lies and, and deceit here. Okay, um, you have to be a hardcore Birdcatcher fan to understand that reference I just made to myself. <laughs> oh, that was bad. I didn't... I didn't see that coming. Alrighty, uh, one last, um, fire faucet to deal with. So, let's, uh, just take care of that. I remember once when I was a little kid and I didn't have a sense of humor, uh, somebody asked me to, uh, I just randomly got into a conversation with somebody about what oxymorons were because somebody didn't know what an oxymoron was. And I was like, an oxymoron is like, a, fi a, a water faucet that sprays out fire. So, uh, apparently they thought that was hilarious. And that was like one of the first times I can remember somebody actually thinking I was funny when I was a little kid. The only thing that I, like, retrospectively can conclude about that exchange is that I didn't know what the hell an oxymoron was. I was off base there. I did know what irony was. But the fact that I used a, <laughs> the fact, I probably didn't know what irony was, but the fact that I used an example of irony to describe an oxymoron while understanding neither is super ironic. Uh, and like that part I find particularly um, entertaining to me right now. <laughs> I did it. I turned off the volcano. I mean, you know, I really would. <laughs> okay, the game had not really caught up with that fact all the way. Um, you know, I mean, all I really did was I just sealed up the volcano so it'll explode more violently and larger in the future. But, um, you know, till then everything's great. So what happens if I climb in here? Is this 
it's gonna take me to... Oh. Alright. It took me to Luau. Can I do anything else while I'm here? Yes. Wait. I can become the boss. Yes. Keep Oot. What the hell does that mean? Well, whatever. I'm betting that behind the casino, I might find goodies. Oh, I've only found I can only find goodies that I've already found. Well, that's a little bit lame. I thought that maybe, um, and I don't really know why I thought this. I thought that maybe if I explored the level at different times of day, it would have different, uh, like, secret content, but I guess it doesn't. Alrighty, well, uh, let's go ahead and claim my, uh, star, uh, sorry, my shine, uh, sorry, I made my piece of time here. You did it! Small child saved Mafia Town! Um, I'm conflicted. Did I do the right thing? Cause it sounds like I didn't do the right thing. Now Mafia no longer need to eat lava for breakfast. Amazing! <laughs> Please, take this as trophy. You are truly the hero of Mafia Town! I'm more interested in figuring out what this is. The hell is that? It's like an octopus, but it has the wrong number of legs. And I think the wrong number of eyes. And it also has lips. No, oh, it has the right legs. It has the right number of legs. It also has lips, though. That part's weird to me. This is just punch. But that's like that. that that's that green punch. That's the good shit that you get at church. And you're just like, damn, this is 98% sugar and 2% water. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this is meatball wine. Made by Don Spaghetti in 1921. This is also meatball wine. Um, it's either a cantaloupe or a basketball. Oh, yeah, I guess it is a coconut. That's a hand. Let's see. What else is there around? What the hell is going on here? Is this the end of Half-Life 2 all of a sudden? All right. There's also fish containing other fish and looking very unhappy. We have some crab. We have some banana. Ooh, a cigar! That looks edible. Wieners. Okay, we have uh, a square of wiener. Which, um, boy, when you say it out loud like that, really sounds unappetizing. Oh, look at that. Hat kid! Everyone very happy for me, considering I saved Mafia. And, yeah, so... So that's it. I've done it. I saved the Mafia. Hell yeah. Ooh, more stuff. Okay, this is a wheel of cheese. We have coconut milk pink coconut milk and just the skeleton of a fish mm -mm. love me some fish skellies okay let's get in here and uh, let's grab the star shine alrighty nine of them that's my favorite prime number uh, bird are you gonna play South Park nope probably not doesn't seem like my cup of cup of cabbage. Cool. So we have time for just one more little segment here, and then I'm gonna be uh, piecing out. But let's see. I'm gonna pop back in here, and I guess I'm gonna check: is this level done or not? It should be basically hundoed. I'm wrong. Uh, there's also a time rift. I'm super far from hundoing this one. All right, so this one is located... I think I know where that is. Let's let's find that first of all. I think it's towards the beginning to the left. I uh, I don't have, you know, the 
greatest of, of photographic memory. I kind of have more of like a, like a, like a spirographic memory, if anything. Um, but I can, I can kind of figure out where that might be. So I'm gonna skip the segment with the with the uh, mustache girl because that takes a long time and is super not that interesting. But I think it's down in here. No, I don't see it around here. Alrighty. Well, let's instead... Okay, it's not through here. I believe it's in some sort of nook and or cranny uh, in along this path. Because I vaguely remember finding it or something fairly much like it. Dancing with Joy, Dancing Man. Mafia is non-union. That sucks. Okay. Uh, was it down and to the left? No, I don't actually remember where the time rift was. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've actually found anything quite like the that picture. Uh, it was next to some red. So I'll go where there's you red. Say mafia stupid, but mafia not stupid. Mafia graduate university. <laughs> mafia has PhD in mafia. Oh, I'm sorry, doctor. Okay, well let's uh, let's look for red brick buildings. I know that much to be uh, what I'm looking for. So we'll we'll see. I guess I'll also use my sprint hat if I'm going to be exploring. I might as well uh, explore quicker. Does this guy have anything to say to me? Nope. Um. Hmm. Where could it possibly be? So here's some brick things. Uh, it was also pretty dark in that screenshot, so I'll need to be looking for areas that might are also in shadow. So things that are like... Uh, yeah, uh, not oft-explored little tunnels would be a good candidate. Uh, this looks like it could also be at this uh, little brick building that is kind of in the center here with the Mafia headquarters at top of it. Could also be it. Uh, but no. Nothing here. What about. Uh, okay, so there might be some more brick buildings over in this area. Damn it. I want to skip this. Okay, um. This is more brick buildings, none of which are like the red one that I'm looking for. Unless it's down there, which could be the case. Yes, yes, there it is, there it is. Alrighty then. What? I don't even remember where the green vault is, so I'm gonna have to find that too. Alrighty, got it though. This is excellent. So. Well, uh, we have the bizarre time rift here. <laughs> Pretty strange, am I right? And oh no, there's so many t sleeping tanukis. Okay, I can work with this though. So all I need to do is put my sprint hat to good use because that will help me get through a lot of this stuff a lot faster. Wow, that actually works kind of really super well because it also uh, it also looks like it messes with my jump a little bit. That was a little bit unexpected. I did not think it was going to just suddenly swivel around like that. Okay. That background was a little bit creepy, too. The, uh... I thought those were, like, spooky specters being like, Oh, you're... You, you've landed in Spookster Town. But, nope, they're just, uh, far away buildings and clock towers. Reminiscent of my youth in the clock tower. I mean, no, not that. Okay, let's go over here. And sprint, and star, shine, get, and buck up really badly. Okay, well that's why, uh, that's why they gave us checkpoints. Okay. So, let's just not let my hubris be my downfall. Okay. Um, let's let my 
stupidity, but be my downfall instead. I, uh, definitely made a pretty good example out of that one there. Ch -ch Chow. B -b Bow. Shut up, pal. Got the shine. First try. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if you think about it, this is the first time I've ever played this game, right? So, if this is the first time I've ever played the game, then everything I do is technically my first try. So, so far, I'm everything I've done, I've been perfect at. Yes. Yes, indeed. 